While unmanned aerial vehicles, or UAVs, may seem futuristic, they actually have a long history dating back to the First World War. That said, their use has certainly become much more prevalent in recent years. With maintaining distance between humans at the forefront of everyone's minds these days, it seemed natural to spend some time discussing the not-so-human soldiers of the modern battlefield, drones. Today, pretty much every militaristic group and government force uses UAVs in some way or another. That's why, in this video, we'll be looking at 9 of the most incredible, powerful, and intriguing military drones known to modern man, with a focus on UAVs tailored for combat. 1. Sukhoi S-70 Okhotnik B First up, we look at Russia's entry to this list. The Sukhoi S-70 Okhotnik B, considered a sixth-generation aircraft, is a stealth-heavy unmanned combat aerial vehicle, or UCAV, currently in joint development by Russian aircraft and aerospace companies Sukhoi and MiG. The project began in earnest back in 2011, when Sukhoi was chosen to lead the new Russian program to build a heavy reconnaissance and attack drone. Based loosely on the MiG Mikoyan SCAT, with some elements from Sukhoi's 5th Gen Su-57, many believe it was designed, at least initially, as a loyal wingman to the Su-57, meaning the drone would partner with and be controlled at least in part by a Su-57 pilot. The S-70, also nicknamed the Hunter B, will have a flying wing design and be low observable, with materials and coating designed for stealth. It has a 65-foot wingspan, weighs roughly 44,000 pounds empty, and has a maximum reported speed of 620 miles per hour with a payload. To that end, it has two internal weapons bays to hold up to 4,400 pounds of munitions. The first prototype was tested in 2014, and today Okhotnik is nearing its final form, with several flights performed throughout 2019. It has an anticipated introduction date in 2025, if not sooner. 2. Celex ES Falco For our next entry on this list of incredible modern military drones, we move to Italy and the Celex ES Falco, or Hawk, a tactical UAV made by Italian company Celex ES in Leonardo. These UAVs are designed to be versatile for tactical missions, but Italy refused to make them capable of carrying arms. They do, however, have a wide range of surveillance features, much smaller than the Okhotnik B, Logical, since they serve a different purpose, the Falco is 17.2 feet long with a 23.6 foot wingspan. It can handle a 331 pound payload and has max takeoff weight of 1654 pounds, with a maximum speed of just 134 miles per hour. However, it is armed with a jamming resistant data link, thermal and hyperspectral imaging cameras, a synthetic aperture radar and maritime surveillance radar, nuclear biological chemical or NBC sensors for detecting weapons of mass destruction, and flares. So, while it may not be particularly swift of dangerous in terms of firepower, as military drones go, it is highly functional. Officially introduced to service in 2009, today, the Celex ES Falco is in use not in Italy, but primarily by the United Nations, Saudi Arabia, and Pakistan, with additional deals or tentative deals in place with Libya, Jordan, and Turkmenistan. Leonardo is still manufacturing them, but they have additionally been manufactured by the Pakistan Aeronautical Complex since 2009. Pakistan in particular uses them for security operations against insurgencies and by the UN as spies for their peacekeeping efforts in the Democratic Republic of the Congo. 3. AVIC 601S Another low-observable, flying-wing-shaped UAV, the AVIC 601S is China's contribution to this list of magnificent modern military drones. Designed and manufactured by the Shenyang Aircraft Design Institute and Shenyang Aircraft Corporation, the 601S is in fact the name of a series of seven different related UAV models developed from 2008 to present. All are experimental UAVs in a flying wing shape built first and foremost for stealth. As with much of China's military tech, details like how many of each model have been manufactured, if they've been manufactured at all yet, beyond prototypes, are a bit fuzzy but we've chosen to focus on this series because it is the most recent generation for which some intriguing details are known. The family of drones began with the Sky Crossbow, which used twin tails for flight control with its futuristic shape. A relatively small model, it had a wingspan of just 7 feet and a maximum speed of just 43 miles per hour. 
That said, when it surfaced, it marked China's first known effort to make use of the flying wing shape. So not bad for a first try. From the Sky Crossbow evolved the Windblade, then Cloudbow, then the Warrior Eagle, which was the first model to be rumored to be in use for reconnaissance. With such a small and stealthy drone, recon certainly seems like a likely use. And finally, not counting models that aren't believed to have been pursued or built yet, came the Sharp Sword, the final model, which was chosen for full production. Larger, with a wingspan closer to 45 feet, it's believed to be intended for reconnaissance and combat missions. It flew its maiden flight back in 2013 and entered service in 2019. The Sharp Sword has a cruising speed of 621 miles per hour, has a reported maximum takeoff weight of over 44,500 pounds. That said, again, the Chinese media doesn't or can't always report exact details, so we'll have to wait to see the GJ-11 Sharp Sword in action to fully understand its capabilities. 4. DRDO Rustom The Rustom, or Warrior, is a medium-attitude, long-endurance UAV made for the Indian Armed Forces by the Government of India's Defense Research and Development Organization, or DRDO. While the DRDO has two designs seemingly ready for production, the Indian government is reportedly taking proposals from four different manufacturers before deciding who will actually produce these drones. In the meantime, the Rustom-1, which was essentially completed in 2012, has flown more than 65 flights, despite not officially entering service yet. The Rustom-1 has a 67.6-foot wingspan and a maximum speed of 140 miles per hour and can carry a 770-pound payload. It has a variety of cameras, radars, and other surveillance-centric tools, including an infrared camera and electronic intelligence system. A Rustom 2 design has also begun test flights, but had a minor setback due to a 2019 crash on an aeronautical test range. Despite often being compared to the United States retired MQ-1 Predator drones, there is no known armed version of the Rustom to date. But once India chooses a manufacturer and the drone is produced, we'll be able to get a closer look at the UAV's full potential. 5. Honeywell RQ-16T Hawk Moving on, we come to our smallest military drone on this list, and the first of two produced in America. The Honeywell RQ-16T Hawk, or Tarantula Hawk, named for a particularly intimidating species of wasp. Like their namesake, these UAVs are small, but mighty. Developed by Honeywell after receiving a $75 million contract from the U.S. Navy in 2007, they were first tested in Iraq as a tool to help find and inspect possible roadside bombs. Since they are faster than typical ground-based unmanned vehicles and don't need to touch ground to inspect targets, they were immediately found to be useful and the U.S. Armed Forces ordered several hundred of them. The T-Hawks are put to work with EOD teams seeking and destroying unexploded explosive devices by 2008, and the UK and Indian forces have both since expressed interest in them, with the UK buying at least 18 T-Hawks. These unique little drones are gasoline-powered, can be carried in two backpacks with a total gross weight of 18.5 pounds, and can reach speeds up to 81 miles per hour. And, as well as having found a use in finding and destroying IEDs, they've been used to help in humanitarian disasters, including surveilling the Fukushima nuclear power station in 2011 after it suffered significant damage, helping the Tokyo Electric Power Company to determine sources of radioactivity and how to deal with them without any unnecessary human exposure to the radiation. 6. TAI Anka S Up next, we turn to the TAI Anka S, manufactured by TAI, or Turkish Aerospace Industries, for the use of the Turkish Armed Forces. The TAA Anka is, in fact, another series of drones, the first of which took its maiden flight in 2010 and entered service in 2013. The name, Anka, is taken from Zumrud Anka, a mythical, benevolent, phoenix-like flying creature from Middle Eastern cultures believed to have roots in Persian mythology. That first model was another medium-altitude, long-endurance UAV designed for tactical surveillance and reconnaissance, but we focus on the Anka S because it is the more recent, armed version of the intimidating drone. Ordered in 2013 and tested over the past several years, several of these satellite-linked UAVs designed for combat were delivered to the Turkish forces in 2019, and are now reportedly seeing action in Syria and are said to be proving to be deadly and effective. 
While the models differ slightly depending on their purpose, the general design for the Anka family includes a 56-foot wingspan and a maximum speed of 135 miles per hour. Perhaps most impressively, they have a 24-plus hour endurance while carrying a payload and can perform satellite-controlled airstrikes. These drones in particular are intimidating and powerful weapons that will likely make Turkey a big international player in the field of drone technology. We'll have to wait and see what they do with that newfound power. Dangerous, weaponized UAVs like these could be misused in the wrong hands. 7. Dassault Neuron Looking again to the future of drone technology, we have the Dassault Neuron, an experimental unmanned combat aerial vehicle UCAV, in joint development by a pan-European alliance of countries led by French aircraft manufacturer Dassault. While Dassault is the lead contractor, the Neuron project has involved cooperation from Sweden's Saab, Italy's Leonardo, Spanish company EADS, parent to Airbus, Switzerland's RUAG, and Greece's Hellenic Aerospace Industry, which is a company despite the name. It's quite the multinational endeavor. The result has been a sleek prototype for a stealthy, autonomous UAV capable of launching guided missiles. It has a 41-foot wingspan and a maximum speed of 609 miles per hour and can carry two 500-pound guided bombs. It took its first flight in 2012 and its 100th in 2015, also successfully releasing weapons in a 2015 test. It is in many ways similar to BAE Systems' Tyrannus program, and, in fact, collaborations between the two have been discussed. So maybe we'll see yet another European country getting into the mix. The aim of the program is to help Europe's forces stay technologically relevant over the coming decades and will likely be part of a larger future combat air system, or integrated system of smart combat and tactical systems. So it likely won't be introduced until a larger system has been built and tested, but the current model is already about as intimidating as any other drone in use today. 8. IAI Itin The second to last entry on this list is the IAI Itin, a UAV designed for reconnaissance that was designed and is produced by Israel Aerospace Industries. If you haven't been paying much attention to the drone space until recently, it might surprise you to know that Israel has been, in many ways, the pioneers of the modern unmanned military aerial vehicle, taking the lead in the early 21st century with the IAI Heron, which was exported to the US, Canada, India, Germany, South Korea, Brazil, and many other nations. The I-10 is the next-generation version of the Heron, which entered service in 2010 but is rumored to have been in use in 2009. The I-10 has a whopping 85-foot wingspan and has a reported maximum speed of 138 miles per hour. It is equipped for reconnaissance and tactical surveillance, but may also have unknown combat applications and is, unusually, equipped for aerial refueling. And that's not all. A prototype for the Heron 2 was just recently unveiled, which would have a max speed of 161 miles per hour and be able to perform surveillance duties at a much longer range than either of its predecessors. So the impressive I-10 may soon be rendered obsolete. 9. MQ-9 Reaper Last, but certainly not least, we come to the second American entry on this list, the General Atomics MQ-9 Reaper. While not the most recent model on the list, it is a no less fearsome UAV than the others on this list, if not more so. Though it took its first flight in 2001 and entered service in 2007, this drone is still considered modern and useful enough that the US forces have said they anticipate it remaining into use into the 2030s. Of course, the vehicle's US-based manufacturers, General Atomics Aeronautical Systems, have made improvements over the past decades, so today's UAV is not the same model as flew those first flights. Today, there are several iterations, the most recent to see combat being the upgraded MQ-9 Block 1 Plus Reaper. Currently in use with the US Air Force and having first seen combat in 2017, while two additional models are anticipated within the next two or three years, the Sky Guardian and the Protector RG Mark I. Broadly speaking, the Reaper has a 65-foot wingspan, a 300mph maximum speed, and the most robust armament options of any drone listed here. The Reaper can carry seven hardpoints, four Hellfire missiles, and or two 550-pound GBU-12 Payway-2 laser-guided bombs, among other things. And it's equipped with advanced avionics, including a multi-spectral targeting system. 
so it's no wonder that the MQ-9 Reaper is in use not just with the US forces, but with France, Italy, Spain, India, Morocco, the Netherlands, and the UK too. It may, with all that said, come as no surprise that, despite its slightly more advanced age, the Reaper is widely considered the most fearsome military drone in use today. And there you have it. Those are the 9 most incredible unmanned combat drones in the world, at least that we know of. What do you think? Is unmanned combat the way of the future? Do you find any of these drones particularly intriguing? Let us know in the comments! Thanks for watching and don't forget to give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below so you can see more real modern military content like this.